Alright, what are we doing, Lake? We're going to make... Lake on it! We're going to cut some trees off! Cut some trees off? Yeah! yeah we cut some trees down. Um, we've talked a little bit about uh, working facility and the need for it, so it. we're going to kind of document that whole process while we do that. So, um, if you look out there, the trees kind of come together, you'll see it in a second, um, to make a point. And it's kind of in the middle of two fields and then an alley through there. So, um, we're going to kind of go out there and, and clear out that corner and see where the best spot to put the uh, facility would be. And, uh, yeah. So, follow along. The Lake, who are you dressed up as? The, the Raya Lakeland. and the Last Dragon. Raya and the Last Dragon. That, that. Gonna get muddy. Hang on. Gonna get Can muddy? Gonna turn. get muddy? Oh man, yucky! Have some mud on you steps. Well, why is your face all dirty, so? Cause I ate a sucker. Alright, so here is where it'll go. Years ago, this was a working facility. It looks kind of haunted now. Yes, this is an old working facility. Catch pens. They shoot right here, a little alley. And then they'd work them in through there. Uh, it's all wood. Now, technology's way different. Hydraulics and all that kind of stuff. We'll walk through all that equipment we're looking at. Um, if anybody watching has any recommendations, I mean, we're always open to it, but I've seen now that we've been doing this you've seen different working facilities and different equipment and all that goes into it so it's pretty cool that this is here and to see how it was done years ago and clean all this up this will all come out there's, there's no way we can use any of this pretty cool little spot yeah, and then you narrow daddy, them down daddy. as you go and then put them in alley hey guys, and then work this them is through here the cow. this is poison ivy oh my gosh get out of here karen so what are we working on today? We are getting ready to start clearing for our new working facility. We got AJ on the block behind Bush Hog. We got the Bush Hog on the tractor. We fixed the pull-up some old fence. Your spring chainsaw. We got some young farm hands in training. <laughs> Lake over there in her. Let the cattle, uh, or let the... Laundry! Get out of here. Laundry! Gosh. Hillary wants to let the Highlands out, prevent the debacle we had last time. Prevent the debacle we had last time. All right, so we didn't recap yesterday what we did cleaning out that um, area. We're gonna put the working facility. Uh, we'll go over there after this, but Hillary has decided today's the day to let the Highlands out with the horses. And since Matt wasn't here last time, what are we gonna do? Wing it. <laughs> Wing it. No, there's a little low spot where they where they got out last time. Uh, so we're gonna put some panel up. But we're gonna put some cattle panel up so those things don't get out. And again, we'll go ahead and uh, show you all the work we got done yesterday. We got it quite a bit done. Definitely, definitely need to get a dozer or some type of skid steer for the rest. But. Not sure if Ben's put out if this video got before or after, but you can see where Matt was uh, seed drilling, planting seed. It's coming up pretty good. We're gonna divide this field in half and rotate the horses and cows on it so they it's gives the other me. half a break a little bit. Seeds coming up, or the grass coming up. What's the, what's the plan here? Tie them together. <laughs> one horse with one cow. 
Tie the two cows together, then they can't get out of the fence. Yeah, like but it's just, but it's just yeah. <laughs> That's how they'll become friends. Poncho, you going to chase everybody out again? Our plan was to just let them out and then walk over with them and just see how it goes. Come here. You gonna chase them out today, huh? It's free. Look at all that coarse grass. Oh. Come on. <laughs> you guys run straight to the thing. Let me add them. how it started the other day. Poncho is a sour horse, as is Scarlet. They cannot be outside of like eyesight of each other. Poncho's a 10 year old gelding and uh, she's a mare. All right, yesterday we kind of showed you where the working facility was gonna go. And then obviously did a bunch of B-roll of us cleaning all the stuff up. Uh, I wanted to give you kind of a recap on what it looked like. We used a combination of the John Deere 4044R uh, with just a six foot bush hog. And then Dave Oaks let us borrow the DR trimmer mower. Good old manpower, right? Guy, Luke, myself, Matt, Dad. Um, who else was out here? AJ. AJ so yeah, um, yeah we have to come back through and probably get some of these stops up or uh, we're really looking for getting a dozer or a skid steer to finish up what we got. But <clears throat> uh, as far as the space and what we did in a day's work and, like I said, a bunch of manpower, I think got a pretty good chunk of it knocked out. Um, you know, we talked about we may come back into the woods a little bit farther and take out a couple of these trees, but we talked about using quite a few of them that are good and good shape and have good uh, foliage and to have some shade uh, Bison get super hot or cattle, whatever you're working, get super hot and uh, stressed. And I mean, working them, you get super hot and stressed too. So, so we we're going to go vision here. Yeah. So we'll, when we kind of laid this out, our paddocks out in the beginning, we kind of talked about that this was where our original working facility was. And we're going to kind of keep it in the same area. So we kind of put a gate here thinking that we've got a long run of fence. We can kind of get them against the fence and run them into this area. So we'll have uh, this area here, which will be our big catch area. We've got to get them into this, the working facility area here. So we can, we'll have an alley, an alley or something through here with some cutting, some sorting pins. So what we could do is have a huge lot right here, like a, like a big catch lot. And then an opening through here where we can like, somebody's in here pushing them through like a big gate. There'll be an alley through here and then we can cut them into like four different areas. Mm -hmm. And turn them. Tur yeah, and then open those up into an, the alley comes back through here yep. and then put a sweep that's tub the way, in here. To, that's where Eddie's is. Yeah, is it? Okay. Yeah. And then yep. they'll exit down there and we could even put, you know, a, a way to sort them out there. When they're leaving, if we have a yeah. calf that we are going to be taking um, to slaughter or we have a cow we're going to cull or one we're going to sell or something, we need to, we need to, when that's we get a, through there's the two different, two, there needs to be some type of two different catch pens. Yeah catch pen that they can go out yeah. and join the herd, herd or, or we put them back in here put them in a pen we can back a trailer up to them and load them back in yeah. somehow yeah this will all probably change too but this yeah. is the, the ultimate <laughs> idea uh yep that'll be our idea for uh the working facility we'll call this the the beginning stages of it this is very early on like i said we're just trying to uh get an idea get it all cleaned up and uh We'll try to document and keep you guys uh, up to date on what's going on. You got any uh, recommendations on working equipment, uh, what companies to use and stuff like that? I think we're going to go with something probably hyd uh, hydraulic, just with how big and strong the bison are. Uh, but if you have a brand that you like better, what's some of the ones? What's uh, Eddie have? At w W. W W. Preferred's, Preferred's another one. one. So um, if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments and. Uh, We'll, we'll give it a shot or talk to them. So, uh, also, if you have any resources on layouts and how to lay out working facility, let us know too. Peace.